It's Wednesday, January 11th, and day 322 of Russia's full-scale invasion and genocide on Ukraine. I have some very disturbing news coming out of Mariupol that you may not have heard yet. According to the Kharkiv Human Rights Protection Group, children in currently occupied Mariupol had to perform for and entertain Russian soldiers. This forced Christmas performance was under threat and apparently happened on January 9th. Parents who did not comply with putting their children in this performance were obviously threatened with very serious consequences. Anyone refusing or caught filming the event was threatened with imprisonment. The surviving population in Mariupol is not only freezing in their homes, living without electricity and a lot of the time water. On top of all of that, and the trauma that they have already endured, they are being forced to indoctrinate their children into the Russian world. Forced to dance for, comply with, and entertain the exact same monsters that have ruined their lives. The rage I feel on behalf of these people runs deep. I think it's vitally important to share these types of stories so that A, people can understand what's going on there. B, we can encapsulate this for the future, which is very important. And C, to remind people that even though we all have burnout from this invasion, and I know it's very, very hard to keep listening to these awful news, we have to remember our privilege to turn off our devices and not look at the news and remember that people are still going through unbearable circumstances. Please keep supporting Ukraine. Please keep talking about Ukraine. Slava Ukraini, heroem slava, razom te perimohi.